Ladies, old school games. Now, here in today's video, we're going to show you how to attach your groom hair to a character creator for model. Actually, this will probably apply to yeah, basically any character. Any character. It doesn't really matter. Now, I've got a little bit of tweaking to do, as you can see. Uh, but uh, And also, this is absolutely wrecking my video card because I have it up on... Uh, high epic settings and the landscape just generating around it's just like blowing stuff up but i gotta say and you can't see it here but i gotta say the groom hair looks really really good uh even though you can't see it on on on, on uh, because of performance issues let's say here we go here's the groom hair it's it's good it's great it looks really really good it works like an absolute dream and the reason for that is that look at look at how it look at how it, Man, oh man, sorry. So slow. Uh, you know what I'm going to do is disable my landscape. Maybe we'll be able to interact with the environment. Uh, interact a little. There we go. Now we're talking. All right. So as you can see, that hair is so good. It like falls over the shoulders. I didn't set up collisions for this or anything. It just detects the skeletal mesh. Hello, kitty. <laughs> Kitty's chewing on my microphone here. Uh, but as you can see, yeah, it just like falls kind of perfectly. It's just like really, really good. Uh, I love the groom hair. I'm glad I tried it out. Uh, the Daz hair, uh, it's not the Daz hair, the character creator hair. I was having no such luck with. It was looking really, really bad uh, in Unreal Engine. Anyway, hey, let's jump into this, guys. Let's, let's, uh, let me show you how to attach the hair. Number one, you've got your, your groom hair. It looks something like that, right? Let's assume you've got your groom hair. Uh, what you're going to want to do is first fire up your caricature's uh, skeleton. Their skeletal, skeleton, skeleton, not their skeletal mesh, but their skeleton, skeleton. Go ahead and look for the character's head, uh, their head bone, right? Go ahead and right click and just add a socket. You can call this socket whatever you want. Uh, I've called mine, blah, 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 I've called mine groom hair. Where is it? Right down here. Mine's called groom hair and it's right on, right on my head, head, head bone. Uh, just nice, 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 just a little socket there on my head bone. All right. So. In your character blueprint, and we're going to adjust that in a minute, in your character blueprint, uh, you can go ahead and click add, find the groom component, add that groom component. Uh, it will look something like this. I got mine that, uh, I got mine parented under my skeletal mesh. Maybe, maybe not necessary. I think actually I think that's necessary because now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the parent socket for the groom uh, hair. So you just go ahead and you can find that uh, socket that we just created over in the skeleton and you can attach your groom hair. Oh, by the way, you're going to need to select your groom hair asset right in here. So that's just the uh, the groom asset right there. Uh, I didn't need to do anything else in regards to all these other things. I didn't, I didn't do anything else with that. Maybe there's some things to do there. I don't know, but I didn't need to. Um, now, as you can see, there is a bit of a uh, alignment issue. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is head back over to my skeleton. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to switch to top view just to get a little more precise here. I'm just going to take my groom hair socket up a smidge, save that, compile my blueprint. I should pop it up a bit. And actually, there we go. That's a pretty good fit. So this is just kind of a little bit of tweaky tweak trying to get the right starting location on your hair. Um, that just seems to be a process of eyeing it up as best as I can figure. But that looks pretty good. Not too bad. Um, I would love to show you guys how this looks, but I don't know. I think with my landscape, I'm going to blow up, blow, up blow up the environment. Maybe if I just simulate here. Let's see. We're going to simulate. Oh, one more thing. One more important thing. Uh, in order to, by default, the uh, physics asset will be disabled, like that. So you won't get any wind, you won't get any movement. You won't even get uh, any um, uh, collision detection, right? So you need to come into your groom hair and just go ahead under solver settings and enable simulation. I've got mine set to groom rods. I don't know what those other things do, but hey, oh, one more thing, important. Uh, look for the radius. Look for the collision radius. Now, mine was initially initially set to eight, uh, and that caused for some really funky uh, like '50s hairdo. Uh, there we go. Like, what's what did they call that '50s hairdo? Like the B or the bun or so? I don't really know. But as you can see, uh, that wasn't good. Uh, so I actually just set mine right down to zero. Not at all. Um, yeah, that seems to fall pretty good. Something weird going on with the eye. I don't know. It's probably just 
I don't know what I don't know what the hell's going on with the eye there, but hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't appear when we actually render or jump into the game. I'm not. Um, well, let's see if we can do that really quick here. We'll just simulate maybe my massive environment. No, my massive environment. I'm peering behind, but yeah, you guys can see the hair actually looks pretty good. You know, flowy, smooth. Um, yeah conforms to the physics of the end and like I say super laggy FPS here but yeah it's working good all right see you guys later